Well, let's get more on this now with Dananath Fernando, who's the Chief Operating Officer at the independent policy think tank Advocata Institute. He joins us now from Colombo. Really good to have you with us, Dananath. Firstly, let's start with those reports that the President tried to flee the country a number of times but was blocked by airport staff. Is Gotabaya Rajapaksa in danger of either being arrested or detained in Sri Lanka after he resigns? I too observed some of the reports by international media and some of the local media, but I have no, uh, you know, uh, no proper news reports on that. Uh, but however, yesterday's speaker has given a statement uh, to BBC World that uh, the president has left the country, but again, then he recorrected it with another statement that he made a mistake, uh, but what he, uh, but the president is still inside the country. Uh, so that is what we all know. Uh, I have no other information uh, beyond that whether actually President left the country or not. Okay, now everyone's uh, looking forward to tomorrow, obviously, when the President's due to announce his resignation, where he'll officially step down from office. Is that likely to satisfy the protesters who are currently occupying the presidential palace? One of the main... Uh, demands by the protesters was to completely the president to resign and the entire cabinet to resign. So I think that is probably coming uh, one of you know fulfilling one of the major demands by the protesters. But I think the important thing is what are we going to do after that because the country's main issues remains as it is. So what we uh, need to move forward towards is for economic reforms because just uh, just resigning one regime or administration really won't uh, solve people's problems because still the fuel are in the massive shortage, so as essential drugs and medicine. So we have to quickly find a solution for those two. Uh, that's right. And I understand that uh, when Gotapaya Rajapaksa resigns, an all-party unity government will be formed in the interim, presumably before uh, general elections. And uh, the leader of the opposition, Sajith Pramadasa, has put himself forward as a president or interim president, at least. Can you tell us more about him? Is he likely to perhaps unify the country? Are, are protesters going to be happy if he's uh, the new president, at least uh, for the, uh, the temporary uh, meantime? So for the moment, the timeline is president is expected to resign tomorrow, 13th. And then there's a constitutional process because when the president resigns uh, and the power will go back to the, 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 the speaker and then at the parliament they have to convene and identify a president and that will apparently done on the 20th of July. Uh, and at the moment, yes, uh, the SJB leader Sajid Premadasa, uh, he has been nominated by his party representatives as the presidential candidate. But what we see is all the other minority parties like the JVP led combined with uh, NPP and other leaders are also stemming out as uh, the presidential candidates. At the same time, the people who were at the Aragale or like the community protest, they have also submitted like a, uh, you know, uh, an agreement to all political parties that to agree with their demands in moving forward. So it's a slightly a turbulent time. It's slightly very uncertain that who will be the person. Ideally, that person should uh, secure, like at least the prime minister should secure 113 seats out of 225 in the parliament. And there's some agreement between all the parties uh, for the president to be elected. So it's not very clear at the moment. I think everyone is going through discussions to put their proposals forward uh, and to become the president. Uh, but it is not very clear what would be the what would be the conclusion so far because yeah, I think my sense is it will go till about 19th night or even like early morning 20th. All these discussions go back and forth. That has been the experience throughout in Sri Lankan politics. Yes, it certainly is a, a time of uncertainty for Sri Lanka. Dananath Fernando, we really appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us.